Hello everyone, so in this lesson we're going to look at the Lewis diagram some more, but we're going to look at more complex type of structures. So the first um, two atoms we're going to bond will be oxygen and hydrogen. So we need to know how they are going to bond. So the first thing we do is we do a Lewis diagram for each one. So we know that oxygen is in group 6. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Oh, and don't mind the crosses. Sometimes I do crosses, sometimes I do dots. It doesn't really matter. Hydrogen is in group one, so that's just going to be one. So the way it works now is you need to bond electrons together. So we could, for example, and, and this part here you don't bond because that's called a lone pair, so it's already happy. And this is also called a lone pair, so that's already happy. It's these single ones, which are called your lone electrons, they are wanting to be part a part of a pair. So you could say, for example, that this one will bond over here. Now the problem is, is that there's nothing available for this one. So what we do is we generate another hydrogen. And now all of a sudden, there is a bond available. And so our final structure will look like this. And that is water, it's H2O. The reason that it's now stable is that all of these electron pairs, or well you can see that they have all become electron pairs. Remember these ones are called lone pairs, and then these ones are now gonna be called bond pairs because they are in between two different, or two atoms. The atoms can be the same. Just have a look at oxygen quickly. You can see that it's surrounded by two, four, six, eight electrons and so once again we see the octet rule happening. Hydrogen is an exception, it only needs two electrons to be happy and it does have two electrons. Next we can look at nitrogen bonding with hydrogen. Nitrogen is in group 5, so there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 surrounding electrons. By the way those outside electrons are called valence electrons. They are the electrons on the outside. And then hydrogen, as we know by now, only has one. And so what we can do is we can form a bond between those two, but there are still two electrons that are by themselves. So what we can do is we can generate two more hydrogens, and so the final structure will look like this. And so that is called NH3, and its name is ammonia. Once again, look at nitrogen, it's surrounded by two, four, six, eight different electrons, and so it's happy, and then each hydrogen has two. Next, we will look at oxygen bonding with oxygen. So it's gonna be oxygen bonding with itself, and so oxygen is in group six, and so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the other oxygen is also gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So what happens is that we find a match for this one over there, for example, and then this one will go over there. Now, how are we gonna do this? This is something new. We've got two bonds, but we only have two atoms. Normally in the previous ones, if we had three bonds, then it would typically be a hydrogen and then another hydrogen and another hydrogen. Now we have two bonds, but there's only two atoms. So the way this works is the following. You're gonna draw the two oxygens like this. All the lone pairs, which are already there, they can just be drawn towards the outside. So something like that. And I'll do the other oxygen, so something like that. Then we need to show the, the bonding pairs. So for example, this one, or this little bond over here, let me do that in a different color. This one is gonna bond with this one. So let's show that bond in the middle here. So there we have it like that. And then this one will bond with that one. And we'll also show that in the middle. And so this is what we call a double bond because you've got two atoms and between them you've got two bonds, one and two. So that is called a double bond. You can go all the way up to a triple bond. Next we'll have a look at H and S. So H only has one electron, so that's just over here, and then S over here is in group six. So it's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
So what happens is that this hydrogen can go bond over there. Now we don't have any other bonds for this one. So this isn't going to be a double bond. What we need to do here, remember, is introduce another hydrogen so that this can now go bond over there. And so the final structure will look like this. And so there we have our final structure. And so that would be H2S. That's all for this lesson. In the next lesson, I'm going to practice this even more.